I'll tell you a story. I probably you probably can't use this. The uh, the last hole at uh, at Firestone. I'm walking down with Ernie Els, who's a friend of mine. And Tiger has popped up his tee shot with a three wood down the left hand side. He's in very thick rough. He's walking down. He's making practice swings. You know, cursing and whatever in the rough. You know. <laughs> losing his mind, which I love to see, he <laughs> has a little passion, and uh, we walk past his ball, Ernie looks at it, not good, go into the, the fairway and wait, Kenny says, well what's he got, he's got 190 yards, Kenny from a sand wedge lie, two big red oaks overhanging the front of the green, the biggest swing that he could make, I don't think he can get it close to the front edge of this green, <laughs> okay, so I'm standing right beside Ernie, and I open and close my own microphone, I've got a little switch here on, on my belt, and uh, I get a sign from Stevie Williams, wedge, that's what I'd expect. And he takes a swing, one of those ones where his right leg comes up off the ground and, you know, he's off walking after it. It's like a cubic yard of Ohio flies out, goes about 50 yards up the fairway, and the ball is in the air. I'm thinking, oh, no, he did it again. The ball, you know, it's just going straight at the flag. <laughs> Most extraordinary shot. And I'm thinking, oh, now what am I going to say? You know, that wasn't meant to happen. And I open my microphone, just as Ernie, who's standing right beside me, looks at me and says, <laughs> And I look at him, and he looks at the microphone, and he goes, I go, so I just close it, and my producer says, Was that Ernie else? I said, Yes, it was. <laughs> well, not much more you can say about that. <laughs> you know.